Hello everyone, so this is Escape Room Artist and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do, uh, this was, let me back up here, this was requested by a couple in the um, Sandbox Discord about how to collect three objects for th to solve three quests on an MP map and stop a timer after the third quest so let me show you in an action and then we'll go and break it all down all right so here we are we have a timer that's waiting to start um, we're going to go here we're going to hit the switch hitting the switch will teleport us over the wall and start the timer ready and go so there we go. We started the time. We were teleported over the wall. The three quests is to collect these objects. First object, boom. Collect quest one, complete. Quest two is to collect this object. Boom. Quest two, complete. And the third object is the third quest. Once I collect this, it will send a message to the quest system to end the quest and turn off the time there we are so now we have completed all three quests and the timer has stopped took me 36.8 seconds to complete all three quests all right now let's see this broke down okay so first of all let's go to uh, the objectives. We want to we want to see the first quest. So the first quest doesn't start until it gets the message quest one start. Okay. So once we hit this trigger here, you'll see that our when we interact with this message broadcaster. It's an MP mes message broadcaster. When we interact with it, it sends the message timer start. So timer start, when it's received here, will teleport you over the wall and teleport you to teleport location. So it's right here. It's got the name teleport location. Nothing special there, except for this is an SP trigger volume that then sends the message quest one start so going back to of course the objectives quest one start starts that and that's intermingling the mp messages and sp messages um, now when you collect one with the quest one tag which is that first object it sends out the message quest two start okay then quest to start is what starts quest two. It's looking for collected object of quest two tag. And then it'll send out quest three start. Quest three is a little more trickier, but quest three, it gets quest three um, start message. And then once it has the quest three start message, now it's looking for the message quest three complete and this should actually be none that's fine doesn't matter or it should be nothing there it is should be good there okay that's the quest now we don't need to cover those because they all well we'll cover them real quick so when you collect this one it sends out the message uh, collect uh, it doesn't matter the message it's all about this quest tag this one same thing quest 2 tag the third one is the one that's a little more tricky this one uh, these so these were SP collectibles so they would send directly to the quest system and these are MPs and the way this works this is where it gets all tricky because MP messages is what 
how things get sent to the rules and I'll go over that as we go along as well. So expanding out the logic here, uh, when it uses an MP speaker and it detects the avatar in range, I got a nice tight range, you know, we don't want it huge, but nice tight range. And when it does, it sends a message timer stop. Timer stop also will kill this so that it disappears. So it's just like a collectible, but it's not. I mean, it is, but it isn't, right? So now let's go into the game rules so you can see that part in action. Okay, so timer start which was at the very, very beginning, actually starts the stopwatch. Timer stop is what pauses. See there? Pause. Pauses the time. Which keeps the time on the screen. Okay? Pretty simple. So once again, go in here. When we get timer stop, it pauses the time. Okay, so that, that just handles the timer that you're going to see. Now we go here. Here's where some of the trickery happens. Is These are MP messages. So you need an MP asset spawner. That also, when it receives the message timer stop, it does a preset. Gravity drop is what I'm using. Obviously you can name it whatever you want. So let's go into grab let's go into the presets and look at what is gravity drop. So gravity drop is this tile here. And it has gravity and collisions. And it has the tag gravity. That's it. It's nothing nothing more special than that. And when that tile drops on top of this SP trigger volume and it's, it is detected by that trigger volume it then sends out the message quest 3 complete so now and it sends it only to the objectives so going back to the objectives aka quest system it's looking for the message quest 3 complete so once it gets that message then it says, hey, I'm done. So now you got your SP quests also while doing MP timer stuff, game rule stuff. And what I used was a local variable as well. Okay, let's get rid of that one because I don't need that one. So player time is what I'm using which is a local variable. So it's every single person has their own uh, timer. Hopefully this made sense. Uh, let's see it in action one more time and we'll go from there. So here we are once again we go and we trigger this once we trigger this then we go and be teleported and start the timer and start quest boom we start the timer and the quest we go we collect quest it ends that quest starts the next quest we collect it starts the next quest and then when we collect this, it actually doesn't collect it. It actually kills it using the plant behavior. And at the same time, sends a message to the game rules to turn off the timer and drop the gravity tile to stop or to end the quest three. And there you are. So obviously these tiles right here, you'll want to hide. Um, you know, just somewhere. But yeah, that's it. And, uh, there you go.